Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Deathmatch most effectively and kind of translate your skill in Deathmatch into comp because this is something I've talked about before, how you can kind of play Deathmatch like it's its own separate game uh, from actual comp, which is a pretty common thing because really in Deathmatch, there's not a lot of like risk. There's not a lot of, uh, you, you know, you're not really losing much whenever you die, whereas in a comp game, you're potentially losing a round and a game. So a lot of people for deathmatch, it doesn't really translate fully into a comp game. So I really want to give you guys some rules for kind of uh, whenever you play deathmatch or if you want to watch your VODs back for deathmatch, uh, like I'm doing right now, this is a, a deathmatch that I just played. Um, before we start, I want to say, I just want you guys to kind of realize what your weaknesses are, because that's really what you want to be focusing on in deathmatch. Um, and so like, say your, your weakness is positioning. Try to think how you're positioning when you take fights, like how you peek, uh, where you're positioned, you know, like what, how much of your body can the enemy see or of your hitbox, hitbox, I suppose. Um, and yeah, so other than that, we can go ahead and start watching me. I'll basically, I also wrote down, realize why you die in certain times, uh, in deathmatch, which is what I'm going to be talking about with myself here. Like if there's something really notable or if there's something that I did, that's good. I'll let you guys know. Um, and yeah, we could just kind of go from there. So this is the, the warm up of deathmatch. I use... I use uh, Vandal until 21 kills, and then I go to Phantom. So pretty nice shots at the start, but uh, yeah, you'll see pretty soon that my it's not as good as that seemed there. So first thing here, yeah, I whiffed pretty hard, but what, what's what's important is that I'm counter strafing, right? You see, I miss a shot and I'm counter strafing. Basically, what I'm doing right here, I'm dodging back and forth with counter strafing, and this is good because it makes it harder for this brim to hit me. You see he crouches and I eventually do kill him. No, it is a little bit of a battle a struggle for me. I, I don't normally walk in deathmatch. I do walk here for just a tad second. That's just unfortunate. Sometimes you get peeked from multiple angles in deathmatch and there's not much you can do about it. That was pretty bad. One thing we can take away from that is uh, whenever you're, <laughs> you see this Reyna, like we both spray we both spray, but the Reyna sprays for longer. She's spraying with a Vandal, right? Like, if you're spraying with any gun and you realize that you're not killing the person, just stop the spray and adjust your aim and just click their head, just like I did here. Even though it took me a little longer than it probably should have. That's fine. Um, so, yeah. Also, practice guns that you want to... Oh, that was a nice shot. Practice guns that you want to learn in Deathmatch. So, if you want to learn the Sheriff, you know, use the Sheriff. If you want to learn the Op, people are going to hate you, but use the Op, right? Uh, you don't have to just use Phantom or Vandal. You can use any gun. You're not really limited to anything. This is also unlucky to get peeked by three people there. Um, you notice I'm pretty much placing my crosshair where I think the enemy is most likely to be at. This is the same in a comp game. You want to place your crosshair where you think enemies are going to be. Um, missing a few shots there, but that's completely fine. You're good. You can run around, obviously. There's some things in deathmatch that you can do, get away with that you don't want to do in comp games as well. It's important to realize that. Like, obviously, you don't want to be running around all the time in a comp game. Also here, um, you notice that whenever I'm killing this jet here, right here, you see that I crouch, right? So crouching is kind of good as well for kind of like dodging enemy bullets. So like if they're trying to aim at your head and then you crouch below their crosshair, it's kind of like counter strafing in that way. but. Uh, I've got have had a lot of questions about crouching. Crouching can be a good and a bad thing, so try not to overuse crouching. Try to just use it occasionally, right? Uh, and that's really what you kind of want to do. Hmm. Yeah, my aim was... It's not bad here. So here I have good positioning. I fall back into this corner because I thought one would come from main. But they're all just, they're all scared of me, I think, quite frankly. Nice shots. And I'm placing my crosshair where I think they're going to be. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, make sure you're taking fights the same way mechanically uh, that you do in deathmatch in comp as well. Okay. The ace. Okay, with the 6k. How much to... No, not much to say about that. That that's just tragic on me. That's okay though. Also, positioning in spots that like where you can like hold angles where people don't really expect. You realize that in deathmatch, relatively quickly. 
Uh, it's something you can do in comp as well. Like if you sit in an angle that people aren't used to enemies being, it's really good for getting a free kill. And because like enemies aren't gonna have their crosshair placed there, right? So now you see I'm using the Phantom and whiffing with it. Um, Phantom is a little bit different than the Vandal. Generally considered uh, objectively better than the Vandal. So if you want to learn it, absolutely go for it. And run and gun with it as well. Um, yeah, try not to walk around in deathmatch either. You, you, you should definitely walk in comp games, but whenever you're just trying to learn mechanics of like, you know, of playing the game, you can you can completely run around in deathmatch is completely fine. Vandal diff right there, the range diff. Okay. I thought that was uh, I thought that was a funny kill. I wouldn't recommend running and shooting like that all the time, but it can definitely be good and kind of funny in certain scenarios. Oof. Yeah. Like I said, spraying like that is not always the best thing. Only like short to medium close ranges. Yeah, right here is what I was talking about. This right here is not. You shouldn't be doing that. Um. Like th that's that's not very good at that range. You should just be like bursting or tapping, probably bursting with the phantom. But yeah. See, I, I'm I'm just kind of dissecting my my gameplay. Like there's things I could absolutely have done better here, mainly because I've been playing in a little bit and I'm just kind of doing them on accident. But I'd say I played pretty well, honestly, given that I haven't played in a little bit. Another ace, another six k. With the 7k okay not bad right so again guys uh i want you i want the main takeaway of this video to be try to think of what your weaknesses are uh mechanically generally whenever you're taking fights in comp like is it just your raw aim uh do you struggle with a specific weapon do you struggle with peeking do you struggle with positioning when fighting like where to go after you get a kill try to think about all those things and actually apply them from deathmatch into your comp games that is the most important thing um and then also, you know, like I said, uh, when it's going to take some active thought, right? So whenever you actually die in deathmatch, think, okay, what could I have done better there? Just like whenever you're playing an actual comp game. Um, and yeah, th those are pretty much the main things. Um, yeah. So let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do more of this and I, I'll be happy to do more. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe and peace.